Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm going to be talking about um, Groovy Resources. So basically this is just a collection of uh, resources, uh, I'll put links in the show notes, of just things I found that helped me learn and navigate the language Groovy. So first, everything is at now at groovylang.org. Uh, there is no longer Groovy Codehouse, that's pretty much gone. Uh, any links that you find uh, when searching uh, on Google will point back to here and pretty much have you a 404 on this site. Um, within this site, uh, there is uh, documentation. Uh, you know, obviously check out this site. There's more than I'm going to be talking about on this site, but uh, one of the big things is documentation. This is the single page version, which I like, which has like everything in it. Um, but uh, they put a lot of effort into uh, building this up and making it better than what it was before. Uh, there still are a few TBDs in this document, but you know that's the exception rather than the rule. So you know, obviously, this will continue to evolve and grow, but this is a good way to actually just start learning the languages, reading through this documentation. Uh, and throughout this documentation, they have code examples and things of that nature, how to get started, um, and things like that. There's also, uh, which there are links in the site to the Groovy API, and these are the APIs that Groovy uh, provides that are specific to Groovy, uh, you know, things uh, in the realm of metaprogramming, testing, and whatnot. So uh, AST transformations, obviously, see at the top. So these are good things to look at. Uh, and learn those. There's also the Groovy JDK, and this is pretty much how Groovy enhances the JDK. So these are, are definitely uh, good things to look at. Let me just find, uh, let's go to list. So there's you know a whole bunch of extra things in here that you don't get with uh, you know just the vanilla Java list. Um, so, you know, you can check through here and find out what are the extra things it does. Actually, collection probably would have been a better one to look at. Where's collection? Ah. So, basically, all the things that, uh, like, collect and things like that. So, if you know a little bit more about Groovy, you know what collect does. It takes a closure and essentially is, like, map but now applies to collection. This actually uh, predates the Java lambdas, so, but, uh, you know, there are a lot of good things in here. Another really great resource is the Groovy uh, weekly newsletter. Definitely subscribe to this or get an RSS feed or whatever and check this out. This is, you know, basically if you want the pulse of what's going on in uh, Groovy, check this out this will give you an idea of like you know what's you know we'll just take a look at one of them but uh you know what releases some articles news presentations tweets uh from the major people in uh groovy so there's a lot of interesting things in here so definitely go check that out sign up for it or get an rss feed or whatever uh there's also a groovy podcast um, which, you know, you can listen to, uh, it's, uh, Peter Ludbrook and, uh, Ken Cousin are the two main hosts. Uh, every once in a while they'll have someone else switch off for them for whatever reason. Um, but there's also a YouTube video, uh, channel. Check, I would say check that out. Um, I'm actually saying this in actually a couple of my videos just because I've noticed that some, they've had kind of low views and, I think this is definitely something that should have more traffic driven to it. So if any of my uh, subscribers want to check this out, this is a definitely a good place to go. Uh, just to give you a little background, uh, Ken Cousin and Peter Ledbrick, uh, they're, some, they're, they're kind of uh, who I consider some higher up guys in the Groovy community because uh, they write books and uh, give talks on Groovy and very knowledgeable uh, about Groovy. Uh, Ken Cousin has a little bit of a, a corny sense of humor, but his presentations, even with that sense of humor, are always very enjoyable. Actually, that kind of, you know, is it, his little shtick, but it's it's a good thing. Check him out. 
another place to go is uh, on Google Plus. Uh, so you know, obviously, you know there'll be questions uh, spattered throughout here. Most of this seems to be overwhelmed by uh, you know releases of the weekly um, oh, newsletter, but there are some questions here and there. Uh, from different people, I guess it has in some just random post. Uh, let's see. There is also the Nabble forums, which I've I've heard in conferences that they kind of want to push people more to the the uh, Google Plus pages rather than um, the Nabble forums. But there's there's this is still very active, and you know people will post questions and sometimes get answers sometimes not it's you know like any other forum uh, if someone happens to find whatever you're posting about interesting and knows about it they'll post back uh, a lot of times you will get uh, post back from like the heads and tops of groovy so that's definitely a place to check out and uh, you know obviously a little self-promotion here there are my groovy tutorials which I plan to continue building up and i I'm planning to do some more uh, Grails tutorials, but uh, in the for the future. But this is also a place just to get a little bit of, you know, pragmatic tutorials to get you started, and maybe go on to all these other places for more information. So those are just some web resources. Uh, in the next video after this, I'm going to be talking about some video resources and maybe some uh, book resources in a different video. But that's all for now.